I'm embarrassed to admit how long it's taken me to do this little plot, but I still have this whole way to go, so... Hmm, Luna's helping me, sort of. She's eating mud and grass. Okay guys, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, and by all of you, I mean none of you. Buffalo chicken wing. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I got two new Copics for Princess Peach's, um, what am I going to say? Princess Peach's, oh my god, I can't even talk. <laughs> Princess Peach's. Princess Peach's dress. Um, I'm hoping this works out. I have Tender Pink RV13 and Dog Rose Flower RV25. Oh my god, I'm not even showing you guys. I've got my Wacom Stylus replacement stylus thing that I got off Amazon. Uh, I'm kind of scared. I hope it works. Oh. Ooh. Here comes the dog. She heard me doing things. Hello. Are you going to say hi to somebody? Say hi to everybody. Or just stare. That works too. So far, it's looking good. Don't do this at home. This is not safe. It's not how you should open things. But that's how I'm opening things. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's, it's the nibs. All right. Well, Fortunately for me, I've still got all my nibs from my other one that died, so I can just add this to the pile. Is that the silver lining in this situation? I got more nibs? I don't even use the nibs I've got. I go through nibs like one every two years. I'm sure that's not how it's supposed to be, but that's how I roll because I completely forget it exists. This is pretty nice, actually. I've, there's nothing else in the box. I'm like a magician. There's nothing else in the box. Recycle, recycle. And now the moment of truth. The question is, does this need to be synced or anything? I don't know. Let's find out together. Okay. My first thought is that nothing is happening. This is not a good sign. Are there supposed to be batteries in this? I don't want to like take it apart. All right, hang on. I gotta go figure some things out. Guys, I have bad news. I think this only works with the Intuos Pen Small LP180S. Oh. I gotta eat these pretzels out of anxiety. So, mm, the good news is Amazon is wonderful with their return. So hopefully I can just sneak this back, get it replaced with whatever the correct one is. If I can find that. Intuos or stylus. Oh, is this it? Oh my God, is this it? $66, $66, that's double the price. <laughs> Well, here's my next move. See this complicated infrastructure here? I'm gonna bring this across the street to my neighbor who repairs pinball machines and other arcade games. And I'm hoping he can come to the rescue and really help me out here. Oh, I wanna cry. <sighs> All right, well, happy Friday. I'm so aggravated about my wake home stylus that like completely blew like all my productivity because I was going to work on some Photoshop stuff and now I'm stuck doing nothing. So I guess I'm just gonna cover this little boy and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I already can't see the lines I made. That's a good sign. I'm just gonna guess where his eyebrows go. <laughs> oh my, wow. Oh my God, it looks terrible. Never judge a Copic illustration by the first strokes. They always improve towards the end, I promise. This is looking pretty scary. All right, so if anyone remembers my little tip that I did before where I layered purple with brown, it makes a darker brown because I don't own another shade of brown that's even darker. So for starters, this boy will have purple hair. But when I'm done, he will have darker brown hair. Looking good. Maybe I should just leave his hair purple. So this kid came from a clip art set that I did. Wow, I can't see anywhere where I put any of this stuff. So now that I can't do any Photoshop stuff today, I guess I'm gonna just mow the lawn and maybe go buy groceries or something. I don't know, my options are limited. Somebody's outside making noises and they need to knock it off. All right, let's give him a dark blue stripe. Yikes, that is dark. We're just gonna see if this blends out, if we give it a try. Wow, okay. All right, 
I don't know where I'm going with this. Now the heat's kicking on. I got all sorts of things going on over here. I don't even know why the heat's on. It's not even cold outside. Let's give them some little tennis shoes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this ice cream cone. Let me color it in with yellow first. And then we try to go in with the same brown and hope that it's not too much. So far, it's completely blending in with his skin. So we go back with yellow again. Wow, look at my hand. What am I doing? What am I doing? A vanilla on the top. How about a vanilla through here? And then just add a little bit of shading. Completely random. Maybe some of this green. Even though it's gonna be crazy green right now, I'm gonna try to tone it down really fast. Like a pistachio. I think that works. I'll do that again. Let's do this color. The heck is that scoop supposed to be doing then what's left we'll just do one more color i'm gonna do this like frosted blue color i have no idea what this would be it could be like birthday cake or something all right we gotta figure out what's going on here so i'm going to bust out these and put a little shadow under this guy oops not with that i feel like shadows are a small thing to add that makes a big difference if you're interested in making a difference. So let's see. This is the only shade of brown that I've got. So let's just see how it goes for this kit. This arm is like three times as fat as the other one for some reason. That's his dominant hand, obviously. I don't remember what his mouth looks like. We'll just make it look like that. I'm gonna use this dark gray to do his pupils. I feel like I should draw an outline around his eyes because it looks a little weird not having anything there. Are his hands a little wonky? Why, yes, yes they are. God, the heat finally turned off. Thanks, heat. Now I can finally hear myself think all my thoughts. We'll try to fix his shorts the best that we can. Don't ask me where I'm going with this because I don't know. And then we do his ice cream, which in my opinion will be the best part. So tell me in the comments below, do you guys have an ice cream man? And does he drive an actual ice cream truck or is it something different? In my area, we have probably two or three that I see around the neighborhood and some of them have some pretty legit ice cream trucks. This could be like a mint tingling if I added chips. Let's do it. This is starting to actually look like sherbet. Is that how you pronounce it? Sher sherbet? It doesn't have an R in it, but it feels weird to not pronounce it sherbet, but I've heard that was wrong. I guess I will use this one because I don't have any other colors. I like that you can go over these without it like bleeding. That's kind of handy because then you can just keep going over until you're happy with how it looks. Well, he kind of ended up having purple hair in the end anyways, <laughs> but let's go in with this and Make his pants a little shiny. Oh, those some shiny pants. I think I might want to add a little cherry on the top of the ice cream too. Let's see how that goes. Not too bad so far. I'm gonna try to quickly move around this kid. I just thought that there could be a little more added to this. This might be just a waste of ink. Now I'm just making it up as I go. You can't even see that. Oh well, okay. And then I'm gonna go around the outline. I think that that's done. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more, and leave a suggestion in the comment section below for a featured drawing because I'm always looking for new ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Oh, oh my goodness, so sleepy. Oh, evil dog. Sorry. <laughs>